Louisiana Beer Reviews. Okay, I already poured it. I had a little delay on the initial part, the initial recording. I'm trying to read off this, couldn't get the words out. This is the Atlantic Style Vintage Ale from Sierra Nevada's 2017 Beer Camp. 8.5% alcohol, 40 IBUs. This was packaged back in April. It's going on four months now, this particular bottle. They use two real pale barley malts and caramel malts. Magnum is the bittering, the bittering hops, and Centennial and Laurel are the finishing hops. That's what I was having trouble saying the first go round. And plums are added for flavoring. 8.5% alcohol, 40 IBUs, strong ABV, fairly strong bitterness, but probably won't show up in the taste with the extreme sweetness on the malt side. Gets a very good score in Beer Advocate, 86 out of 100. Rape Beer is given it higher, 5 points higher, 91 out of 100, and a 97 in the style. Had this at David's house uh, about a month ago. We really liked it. Um, I went and bought my own pack at Matherns. Negro Modelo glass. Now it's, it's sold as Modelo Negra. They switched it around to have more of the, more of the Latin adjective use, you know. In the Latin langu languages, romance languages, it's Modelo Black, not Black Modelo, as it would be in the Germanic or English, you know, the English language. All right, well, it clouded up a bit when I poured in that gunk at the bottom, the yeast gunk, so it's, okay, looking out there, it's clear, but then you see the big yeast chunks and then the cloud descending in this, what is this color, orange, right? Yeah, it's just like an orange beer with an, a creamy, not too thick, um, ivory colored head. Okay. It's got that strong, sweet, barley wine type malt aroma, which I like. It would be better to drink this in December or January around here. I, okay, obviously when it was cold, rainy, or just damp, chilly, this would be a good thing. Now it's damp. Well, it's humid, I should say, and hot. Not really a July beer, but okay. Have been seeing the Oktoberfest beer showing up here in July. <laughs> it's like sweet and sour. Sweet and sour sauce. Now I said that about some other ones and I thought people said maybe it's infected. In the case of the barley wine from Goose Island in 2015, that was true and I got a refund. But that's a much stronger beer, it was what, 14%, 13 or 14%, it just made me shake, you know, it was so bad, or strong or wrong or something. This has some of those attributes, but it's nothing like that as far as like being infected. Plus the thing gushed out like Bruh. I think mostly it's rooted in my inability to adequately, adequately describe any of these beers. I can taste them and tell if they're good or okay or bad, but I have trouble relating it verbally to you. The body's not too heavy here. It's like medium body. There's a strong citrus component. I was saying like in the initial video with David, I was saying that it had like a orange marmalade taste. And I, I do think it has that. Bread crust, sweet, malty, and the bitter, I think the bitter interacting, the strong bitterness, relatively strong bitterness interacting with it, gives it that, like I'm, conf I'm saying in a confused way, the sweet and sour sauce. Might be my favorite from the variety pack so far. Um, I know the iced tea was my least favorite. I didn't like that too much at all. This one I really like. I would give it
an A, like say 94, even heading toward A plus, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 94. 94, it's a very high quality product. It's the most excellent beer, so I'm giving it a solid A, most excellent. I think in the first review, if I remember, we said A plus. I'm gonna say A, but still, what are you paying, $2? A bottle before tax for a sample of it yeah, it's really good <laughs> it's really enjoyable Fuller's well what do you expect <laughs> the great Fuller's brewery I have no complaints Lazy Le Montan Relay a most excellent product from two dynamite companies Sierra Nevada and Fuller's of you know Sierra Nevada of America Fuller's of Great Britain, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.